Hello and welcome to Rev Roots Random Creativity. I had a friend's birthday coming up and it was a significant one, so I wanted to make her something special. I've been spending hours and hours watching on YouTube and looking at Pinterest at the various ways different people have made waves. But all those were flat, either acrylic paint on canvas or resin on board, and I wanted to make something 3D. So this is my version, it's my first attempt. There are some things that I do differently next time, but I'm quite pleased with how it turned out, and I particularly like that it's, it's uh, reversible. And it's slightly different on each side. So do have a watch. Let me know what you think in the comments. Click the like button if you like it. Share with your friends. And it really helps me out if you subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Thanks for watching. I start with a tray to give it form and that's what you can see the pelicans are on and then I've lined that with plastic which is what the stars are on and I do apologize for the light I'm a night owl and I'm doing this late at night and I didn't realize that the light was so bad I've poured in some clear resin into the tray to give a base and now I'm just pouring in various shades of blue and green resin into the the clear resin what I didn't realize at the time is there are some creases in that plastic. You can see them now looking back and that actually has come through on the piece, but I don't mind that because it just gives the added enhancement of movement in the wave sculpture that I've got. So laying down, pouring in various shades of blue and green in that basic wave shape that I'm trying to create experimenting thinking about all the videos and pinterest pictures that i've seen and watched and trying to copy how they do it but bearing in mind i want to create a wave form with it as well so i've poured everything in now i'm trying to create movement in the resin and the thing i love about water is it isn't just one flow it will go all every different direction and that's what i'm trying to create here the splashes and the individual little waves amongst the big wave making sure that the color goes right down to the edge bottom edge of the piece so i don't have any white resin uh, clear resin sorry at the bottom there and that's where I made the wave too big, I realised looking back. I extended that wave too far, I think. And next time, you can see me trying to correct it, next time I would try and keep it smaller or use a bigger tray, a bigger, a bigger um, mould. Now I'm coming with white, and this is white with some glitter in it. It's a pearlescent white. And again, what I'd do next time, because this sank quite a bit, I'd wait for the resin to thicken a bit so that it stayed towards the top. I'm just trying to create that randomness that a wave has. I didn't quite get the, the cresting whiteness that I wanted. Here I'm putting on some crushed glass that I've made, just very tiny, tiny pieces of crushed glass to give that shimmer. And what I did, I didn't film it, but I came back later and I added some extra white and I added some extra crushed glass. And here it is the next day in the morning. The, the color, the light, sorry, is much better. You can see much better now. And you can see where I've added some crushed glass and a bit more white into the crests. Now comes the task of trying to bend it. The resin at this point has been left overnight and it is still very moldable and flexible but I can't find an easy way to bend this resin. In all my pieces, I struggle with whether to use tin cans or, or stones or weights. So if anyone's got a really good solution on how to bend, how to mold the resin, bending it's fine, but keeping it in that position, please do put in the comments. I'd love some advice on that. You can see me just messing about with it, trying to get it to stay. It bends, but it just wants to bend back again. I keep trying various different things until I manage to get it to stay in place. And then I leave it again overnight to set. Finally happy with it. 
put a weight in the middle there to keep that bit down and there we have the end result the two sides one side which is a bit softer and the other side which shows a bit more of the white again do click the like button if you like what you see share and subscribe if you'd like to see more all of my pieces are for sale do leave a comment and i'll get back to you on that if you're interested thanks for watching